Hi, this is Rachel Cipriano coming to you again from Magnificent Resilience. My last video, I shared about the importance of getting the new year started out right with tangible, specific, measurable, time-sensitive goals. Today I'm going to talk about another very important aspect of accomplishing what you'd like to achieve in 2018. And that's the importance of having your team. You know, it'd be nice if we could be a lone wolf. Maybe sometimes it's easier to be on your own. Perhaps you've been hurt in relationships or by groups, but I encourage you to not give up on the importance of connection. Human connection is the oxygen of resilience. Having said that, it's very important to pick your human connections wisely. As I've said in other videos, toxic people and relationships do more to undermine your resilience and your overall well-being, which is totally tied to resilience, than probably any other uh, deterrent to your progress. So choose those relationships and those groups wisely. Look for people who are encouraging, positive, and supportive. And likewise, you provide that to them. Another word of caution that I've noticed about people, sometimes those who don't have our best interests at heart don't, don't come overtly sabotaging us. Oftentimes, they're more passive-aggressive personalities. What I want you to watch for is someone who seems to be very positive and encouraging but kind of like imagine a piece of music where the notes are going along very nicely and then all of a sudden out of nowhere there's a bad note. There's a note that isn't in key and that's kind of how passive aggressive people can be is that all of a sudden out of the blue they say something very negative. Perhaps you turn your eyes and they didn't expect you to be watching them and you see a hostile expression on their face, their faces. Be very cautious, very cautious of people like this. Choose people not prone to competitiveness and jealousy because I assure you, this will end up creating problems and you're having the proper synergy and unity and team that is so important. I encourage you to become part of communities, perhaps through spiritual organizations or business uh, associations like chambers or mastermind groups. Um, there's also support groups if you need that kind of support, if you're dealing with a particular issue like alcoholism or a troubled child. There's so many groups out there within the community that you can turn to to get that strengthening and that support. Again, it's the oxygen of resilience. It's what feeds you. We cannot do it all ourselves. Lone wolves tend not to fare very well in the wild, nor do lone people within their personal and professional lives. It's kind of the way we were designed. We were designed for relationship, but as I've said, we need the right kind of relationships and we need to be very discerning about it. Again, Rachel Cipriano with Magnificent Resilience. I'm really gunning for you to have a great year accomplishing more professionally and personally than you've seen in the past. And I want to go along with you on your journey as part of your support system. So please, if this has been helpful to you, please like, share, comment, and uh, keep on keeping on.